All right, and we are live. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome again to Sommelier's Liquidity Provider AMAs. And to all the other <laughs> DeFi projects that are currently copying us, welcome aboard. We love you guys. We need more of these. We need more education in this space. And today is a special day because we were super lucky to get Mona Alyssa from Enzyme Finance. So we have Enzyme Finance uh, and Enzyme on our program today with Sommelier. So before I go forward, let's just quick recap some administrative stuff. So this is Sommelier.Finance. We host these with the effort to get liquidity providers more insights and more awareness of the alpha that they might be missing out on, not aware of some of the awesome, most interesting projects in the DeFi space on Ethereum. Sommelier is a co-processor for Ethereum and as well as our pairings product, which is a uh, front end interface to Uniswap V3. So if you're using Uniswap V3 and you want to make some positions, check us out at sommelier.finance. Uh, we have here today with us co-founder of Sommelier Finance, Zaki Mannion. And we have with us our founder of Enzyme Finance, uh, co-founder or founder, Mona? Co-founder. Co-founder, Enzyme Finance. Mona El Issa. Okay, so uh, Mona, tell us about Enzyme. Welcome. Hi, guys. So, yeah, so where do I begin? So, <laughs> uh, Enzyme is a protocol uh, for decentralized asset management. Uh, so, we've uh, we've been around for five years, previously known as the Melon Protocol. Some of you may have heard of that. Are you guys, do you guys think of yourself as like the first vault product? Yeah, we never really branded ourselves as vaults until recently. But yeah, I, I would say we're not product. I would say we're the first vault infrastructure. Got it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So like we 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 basically like with our with our kind of uh, the smart the enzyme contracts together with the the interface that's provided for them enables anyone to create a a vault and run any strategy they like without necessarily having to be a developer. Um, and uh, yeah, just risk managing that uh, ha handles investments, redemptions. Um, you can manage pools, you can manage fees, you can manage performance, uh, all that kind of stuff from our interface. That's awesome. And what inspired you guys to get started? Like, what was the need that you saw in the industry that said, you know what, the Ethereum and the DeFi community needs Enzyme now? So the word DeFi did not exist when I started in 2016. So <laughs> we didn't say anything like the DeFi. Yeah, I mean, I think you definitely de deserve the visionary moniker. Like, <laughs> like way, way, way ahead of the curve. Like, I remember when Melon came, I'm like, I, what is this really for? Or it seems right. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I would I would give the prize to Maker on that front, really. Like they were even well ahead of us, but we, you know, we were pretty close behind, to be honest. I mean, I think one of the challenges we had is that V1 of of Melon, unfortunately, you know, it's such a complex protocol. It was very it was very hard to use, and a lot of the like kind of um, uh, user experience improvements that happened for Ethereum only really happened in the last couple of years. So, you know, V1 Melon, you know, I think users just found it too clunky, too hard to work with um, and not as much uh, things to do within a vault because, you know, farming wasn't around like, you know, uh, lending wasn't around, borrowing wasn't around uh, in the forms it's in today. And so, you know, we, we recognize that we were like, OK, we don't we don't have many users when we launched uh, V1. And we were like, but but DeFi is now kind of becoming kind of interesting, you know, like all the stuff we thought would happen, this explosion in the asset universe, this like, you know, different types of assets being available. AMM pools was like a new innovation by Uniswap and now everyone's doing it. Curve pools, like this idea that you can incentivize growth with uh, your own token, um, basically, uh, you know, staking and uh, basically, yeah, all the stuff we've seen, perpetual, synthetic products. Basically, um, you know, that that was like a reinforcement that we were on the right track. We just hadn't, um, unfortunately, a lot of these protocols weren't allowed, around when we started building. And now we're like, now we know what we're building for. So we, we went into um, another development phase last year where we we're like, let's just put our heads down. It was crypto winter. Not much was happening anyway, as far as we were concerned. And we just started building, 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 you know, together with the team, we re-architected the infrastructure from the ground up and deployed v2 
to the network at the same time as a rebranding earlier this year. And since V2, I think like I can truly say that I'm very happy with the functionality of Enzyme. I'm very happy with what users can do with it and where it's going. And uh, you've probably noticed we've seen a lot of traction in the TVL since we launched in January. Yeah, let's talk about TVL. What are we looking at here? What do the numbers say? Take us to the ticker tape. So I, I haven't looked today, but I would say that uh, since, uh, just bear in mind that for most of last year, we had close to zero in TVL. And since our launch January 19th, you know, we've gone from close to zero to around I think we peaked at $113 million a few days ago. And obviously the market came off a bit after that, but I think that's like an exceptional growth considering, you know, uh, ETH hasn't, you know, I think ETH has moved up 40%. I think our growth is like, you know, 1,900% since January. So we're very, very excited. And we think that that's a validation of the superior functionality that Enzyme has because we have zero marketing budget at the moment. We, we are going to spend money on marketing later this year, but we actually currently spend close to zero on marketing. We have no people focused on community management or marketing. Actually, there is a couple of volunteers that do work on community management, but there's no budget allocated for it today. Um, and we also don't do liquidity mining. So this is like real growth that is uh, not incentivized. And we're really excited about that. So are, are, are we looking at a Uniswap V3 uh, a liquidity mining program coming up for, for Enzyme? Oh, um, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That might be alpha. Don't say anything. Okay. So <laughs> let's move on to the next question. <laughs> All right. So we'll come back to that. That was good. I whew, caught myself. Okay. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, I, since you like, you like these alpha snippets, I can tell you what you, you do, you, you can look forward to. Like we are, um, you know, we've been asked this so many times in the last couple of weeks. Are we going to integrate Uniswap V3? And we've started, sort of shied away from it, but um, I can actually say that we will be integrating in Swap V3 pretty soon. Um, so let's talk about that for a bit um, because we've really focused on Uniswap V3. What has been the enzyme perspective on Uniswap V3? And, and why did you say, you know what, we'll, we'll take a pause and shy away from it before making a decision to jump in? So, um, we uh, so what do I think of it? First of all, I think um, it didn't surprise me too much because, um, well, in some ways it did. In other ways, it didn't. I wrote a blog pe uh, post a year or two ago. I can't remember now about AMMs, and one of the things that I um, said in that blog post is that I think it's going to be difficult for AMMs to scale on their own because market making is at its essence like a very kind of. Um, you know, people oriented business, frankly, um, you know, you need to know the right people, you need to know where the liquidity pools sit, etc. And it's not, um, you know, to, and, you, and you need to make, you know, when you're generating a, a good price, like a, 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 a smart price, you need to have information, right, which AMMs don't, because they, 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 you know, in a way you can, you can, they're pre coded, they're hard coded, so they can't adapt for new information. So, um, what I what I argued in that paper is we need more human input for AMMs to be smarter because um, yeah because otherwise impermanent loss ends up stacking up and then it doesn't you know really make sense unless you're you're doing AMM pools for stable coins or whatever so um, for me the way I see Uniswap v3 is that it's moving more towards a more manual direction like just giving people the options to set more dynamic param parameters. So in that sense, it didn't surprise me. What did surprise me um, a bit was that, um, you know, it takes this new form uh, of, um, and a, you know, kind of more, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't follow the ERC-20 standard anymore, which makes its composability with DeFi a little bit more tricky. And so that's why we didn't integrate it immediately because it requires a bit more thought and planning and it's non-standard. Um, but we, you know, I'm, 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 I'm happy to say that our team have kind of, I think, cracked the, the, the main components of how to, you know, integrate a, a protocol like that into Enzyme now. And we, we're it's definitely on our roadmap. Got it. Got it. Uh, um, I think, do you have any, you know, now that, uh, so, so, okay, so you're saying that mainly it was a technical constraint um, between, you know, uh, your protocol and, and, and Uniswap V3, but um you know do you have any opinions or positions on uniswap v3 um and how it would relate to enzyme in, in terms of priorities is it you know well 
another protocol or is it at the top of the stack, bottom? I mean, any thoughts of where you think AMMs are going overall? Yeah, I think um, I think it's probably um, yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a great thing for AMMs. I mean, one of the things I think is great about it is that um, previously, if you were providing liquidity in a volatile pair, you 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 gave a lot of that away to arbitrages for free, whereas you're the one taking the risk and providing the capital. Right. And I think that V three. Uh, evens the game a little bit more where, um, you know, the the person providing the capital has a chance of um, not losing as much or maybe even making some money on the, you know, impermanent loss slash impermanent gain. Whereas in, in Uniswap v2, you can never have an impermanent gain. You can only have a loss. Right, exactly. Uh, so, so then, so, you know, I guess maybe also my question would be, um, you know, given the new approach for Uniswap V3, does it open up new opportunities uh, for products in the automation space for Enzyme in, in which maybe other AMMs may not? It's, uh, yeah, you know. I, I mean, I'd love to get your view on that too, but absolutely, because I think that with Uniswap V3, it, you know, it does require, I think, um, more management, um, more yeah. active management, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think Enzyme is perfectly set up for that. And that, that that was not a leading question, of course, because <laughs> that, that's that's what we want. Um, yeah, so, what was your what was your? I mean, yeah, I suppose you have the same view, and I suppose that's being talked about here and there. But yeah, definitely. I, I think that's one of the reasons why we hosted events because we think there are a lot of you know true uh, vault automation uh, protocols which we think would benefit from Uniswap v three. You know, Enzyme being one. Um, and I guess I'm curious, Zucky's opinion and view. You know, given you know, uh, what you've seen so far in Uniswap V3, um, you know, and what you have coming in, in you know, for Sommelier, you know, Zucky, is it your view that, um, you know, there is still more road to cover in automation strategies and, and that road is growing or widening with, with more Uniswap V3 integrations? Yeah, I mean, my, our, you know, our bet and our work and like all the code I'm writing on a day-to-day -day basis is all about the uh, the automation that needs to be built around um, liquidity provision. Like, um, I mean, I think the biggest thing right now is um, is that, you know, being an LP requires, and I think this is like what was visionary about Enzyme, um, is that, you know, the, is the need for DeFi products to, to actually hold like more complex positions. Um, that it isn't going to just be like, hey, I'm just going to like hold this liquidity position. It, like I'm going to hold the, this LP position in uh, in this price range, and you know uh, the price is going to fluctuate. I'm going to collect my fees, uh, and that's that's like the ideal position to hold. Um, the you know I think that you know that's a good starting point, uh, but I think we're going to be in an arms race where where positions consist of like a tick range, a set of options. Uh, 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 and a mix of asset that really, though, the mix of asset, like, isn't really just sort of like, hey, like, here's a fund and we're just going to try and optimize gains. But what we're, what it is, is like, hey, we're going to try and like optimize your exposure and your capital efficient exposure to like some opportunity by holding like a mix of different assets together. Um, and that mix, mix is going to evolve over time. And I think that's the, that is the frontier of DeFi right now. Um, is you know what what in traditional finance we would call structured products, mm. um, and that that's that I think is where the vault space is going um, because that's really what I think is the potential of Uniswap v three uh, is that by making being an LP capital efficient, you free up the capital to be invested in structured products, um, but the structured products like largely don't exist yet. Um, and that's sort of like the gap between like where we are in Uniswap v3 uh, and where we're going to be. So then the question I would have is, uh, Mona, uh, if this if structured products and more innovative combinations of of uh, capital uh, is something that is now more possible. Uh, you know, how do you educate users and how do you get liquidity providers to understand how these things work? Or or is it the job of Enzyme and Similia and others to just say, hey, listen, don't worry about that stuff. 
Um, it's so complex and, and very, you know, involved. Um, we'll just do it for you. And um, you come back tomorrow and we'll tell you how you're doing. Is, is that the... That's how yeah, this is but I think like the way I look at it is we're in the infrastructure business. So we're like, we're not in the product business. Um, we're just building tools and services for people to like build awesome vaults that solve people's problems. So, you know, of course, you know, someone who works full time in a completely different industry is not going to waste, want to waste the time and invest the time to like learn about how Uniswap V3 works and actively manage a portfolio. And if they did, they probably... If they're not fully dedicated to it, they're probably not going to perform very well. That's right. So I think it's more. I think like what we're trying to facilitate is for great minds to build great products on Enzyme, and we just making sure they have the tools and the services to do that. Um, and we're very aware that you know this uh, kind of active management of AMM pools is going to be a very hot topic in the next few months, and we're like you know we're working towards facilitating that. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, we we actually reached out, Mona, was we we got some secret alpha dropped from the PowerSwap team. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> are we okay to talk about that secret alpha here and what inspired you know that integration and 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 others like it? Yeah. So uh, that's still a work in progress, but uh, yeah, I mean, basically. Um, Oh God, I don't know. I mean, that's more Munir's game to talk about from, than mine. But <laughs> I just had know, to jump it in there. <laughs> I don't know what he's comfortable for me to say or not. But yeah, I think um, I think you know that the, the idea was really came from Munir. He identified an opportunity, reached out to us. I love working with the PowerSwap team. Uh, so so do my team. They're super efficient. They're super motivated. Uh, they're just easy, great guys to work with. And um, when you know, and they're smart guys. So when he has an idea, we're like, let's figure out how to make it happen. So you know, <laughs> that's that's often how it goes with us. That's excellent. So so your you would say you know um, you know enzymes you know core or or top priority you know sort of customer or partner would yeah. be a protocol or an infrastructure partner that that is yeah. seeing the opportunity to to leverage. Yeah. A small manager, a, a talented manager, it doesn't matter their size. It could be, you know, an application looking to build lots of products a la Yearn. Yep. Or it can be a or it can be like a single manager like um you, you know, you're like, okay, I've got friends and um family, they want me to manage capital for them on chain and yep. this is how I'm gonna do it. Yep. So we're we're agnostic to the you know, we, we expect treasury management people mm -hmm. to use our protocol. We expect mm -hmm. Uh, we expect increasingly more and more, you know, even institutional types using our mm -hmm. protocol. Mm -hmm. We're totally agnostic to the type of user. Yep. Uh, we're, all we're really focused on is building great tools for our users. Got it. So, okay, let's switch it now to the multi-chain world. What is the enzyme view of the multi-chain verse? That yeah, is so, so that's a great question. So we, we are an asset management protocol, so it doesn't really make sense for us to to you know, to to deploy Enzyme on a on a chain that doesn't have assets and liquidity. You know, otherwise, what's the point of the asset management protocol? What's it going to do? What's it going to manage? So we're looking very closely at where the liquidity is going and where the assets are being, where interesting assets are being created. Um, and maybe, um, you know, whatever, if you like to call it secret alpha, um, you know, I think you might know that we're working towards a Sulu release in September this year. Um, what is less uh, talked about is that we have actually expanded the scope of Sulu uh, to include other things that have not been talked about in previous uh, release notes. So um, we've managed to squeeze in the integration of Yearn Vaults. Uh, we've managed All to... Right. Yeah, I'm <laughs> really excited about that. So that's your... A little yeah. alpha, a little secret alpha if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> We're, <all> the goodness. <laughs> We're also uh, going to be adding more curve pools. We'll add Uniswap V3 for trading and... Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I, exactly. I'm not hearing anything about sommelier in there, and, and I and I and I don't want to get upset because you know we need I mean... to talk after this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people being upset, so. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> especially infrastructure folks. <laughs> we gotta get a solution. <laughs> wow. So but yes. Yeah, so, Go ahead. So, as you, so you know, so so Sulu Sulu is the name of our upcoming release, by the way, in case that's news to you. But yeah, Sulu is going to be um, uh, the scope has been expanded, which doesn't happen very often. Um, but uh, that that's great, and the, the good news is that after that, um, we will be shifting our focus to layer two, and we'll announce more about that closer to the time. But 
Um, I think that's that's something people have been asking us to do for a long, long time. Yeah. And I think people will be happy to hear that that will become one of our next priorities after this release. Got it. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, you know, when you, you know, I think one of the questions we have is uh, folks are doing stuff in the multi-chain world in non-EVM type chains that are also growing. Um, you know, the Solanas of the world, uh, the Cosmos, the Polkadots. Um, et cetera, you know, does Enzyme have a, a, a position or, or viewpoint of these other ecosystems? Not yet. Uh, I mean, not a strong position. I, I mean, mm -hmm. we obviously, we're keeping an eye on stuff that happens. We love the, we love the Cosmos work. We're keeping, we're, I mean, we're impressed by the, the, the sheer volumes that Matic have attracted or Polygon right. the last right. few, few weeks. Mm -hmm. we're, um, we like, we're fans of Moonbeam and Akala. I mean, mm -hmm, as, mm -hmm. as sort yep. of DeFi chains, uh, taking a look at Arbitrum and like what they're doing. So yeah, we're we keeping an eye. Those are, I, I guess, the ones we're keeping a closest eye on. And mm -hmm. um, but I, like I said, you know, most of our resources now are on the Sulu release, and I think right. we'll take a much deeper look after September. Of course, of course, and 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 of course, you know, um, if there were you know uh, liquidity mining opportunities after the Sulu release, uh, I'm sure that folks listening on this on this uh, stream might be able to you know keep their eyes to the to the stream and and get ready for something something possible in in the near future, right? Right, Mona. <laughs> I'm trying to twist my arm. You know, we have <laughs> no, 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 twisting. We have a whole council making these decisions. So I don't, I don't make them on my own. But yeah, <laughs> no, no, no problem. And and you know what? We don't want to read anything into it. And 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 again, you know, this is just you know three friends talking and having. Uh, a very open conversation. All right. Uh, so let me see if so check and see if there are any questions from the community. I know Mario might be checking. Uh, let me just ping Mario. Any questions from the community? All right. And speaking of community, uh, congratulations on, on the Enzyme community. It continues to grow. Um, any thoughts about your community as well and, and you know, how you guys look at them and, and how they interact and, and how, you know, how are they a pillar? For, for Enzyme's future. Yeah, I, I'm so happy with our community, actually. You know, it has been growing from strength to strength. I think it kind of plateaued for a while mm -hmm. uh, in uh, 2019 and early 2020. And it's just ever since the V2 release, it's just been growing um, a lot again. And one thing that I see as a really strong uh, sign of decentralization network effects and community is when you don't have to answer as many questions in your own chat as you used to. You know, and and people like community members step in and answer questions for other community members, offer to help. You see collaboration right. across the board, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. I think that is awesome. And I and I again, congratulations. I, we we do see collaboration in our own Similia.finance community, uh, and a lot of patience from some great folks waiting to see you know what's next coming. And I'm sure with this Sulu release, you will continue to see the community grow. All right. Well, I think uh, we are just up on time. And um, Zaki, any thoughts before we jump? Nothing in particular, but uh, it's exciting to see all this stuff. Like, it's really exciting to see the vision that uh, Mona had sort of start coming into, re like, really being reality now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And yeah, moving like very, that. very fast. <laughs> it's been five long years waiting for that, but yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I would say congratulations to you all, um, you know, for biddling um, during the bear, uh, during the, the, the DeFi summer last year, and of course now. Um, as we, you know, go through our, you know, slight uh, possible tapering and and um, possible, you know, changes in the in the environment. Uh, congratulations to to persistence. Uh, we definitely at Sommelier.finance would love to work with Enzyme. So I think we'll definitely, you know, follow up on take up on an offer to chat and see where we can explore. And uh, hopefully, again after Sulu, we, you know, we'll definitely touch base and maybe do another event. This was awesome. Thank you, Mona. Amazing. Thanks so much, guys. Really right. great being here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zaki. And uh, everyone, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on our next event. That's it for now. So long from Sommelier and Enzyme. Bye-bye.